Okay. At this point, I have taken the valve cover off so I can see exactly where the exhaust valve is. And I was going to put the heavy duty valve springs in today, except they have a normal automotive type retainer, not like the one that you would get in the Predator 212. So that's one more difference between the two engines and uh, just something to be aware of when you go to change valve springs. This, the 301 and likely the 420 both have automotive style retainers. I don't know if you can see the one in there on the intake valve to the right, but I'm going to get a special tool to change those out. I'm not going to attempt to change those out by hand. Now, I've already indexed the spark plug. You can see you index the spark plug by you take a piece of a Sharpie and you make a line that coincides with the open side of the electrode on the spark plug. And then you screw it down until it's as tight as it's going to go and you note where this little black line is and originally it was over here so to solve that problem and index it properly I got a set of index washers I got these from NR Racing like I've gotten so much other my of my stuff including the flywheel that I just put on today uh, each one of these that you add to the spark plug turns the spark plug about a quarter of a turn so I ended up putting three on and it brought a line across the top from here over to here over to here and then the last one brought it pretty much right where it needed to be so mine went with three you might have other results also before I indexed it since I'm running the new flywheel it has a neodymium magnet in it, which is will run that spark much hotter than the stock one. It's a much more powerful magnet. I uh, increased the spark gap from about 28 thousandths. I took it out to about 45 thousandths. So the wider the gap, the bigger the spark. And since it's capable of having a hotter spark now, I felt safe in doing that and once I got the spark plug gap then I indexed the spark plug so basically when you're indexing a spark plug you want to have the open electrode pointed directly at the exhaust valve and what that does it unshrouds the spark so that it evacuates the exhaust out of the chamber much more easily and much more efficiently and by increasing the gap of the spark plug, I'm making a bigger spark. It'll burn the fuel much more efficiently, much more completely, and therefore resulting in more power and a more efficient burn on the engine.